right, so here is the former UFC world title challenger, perennial heavyweight contender type, the Reem, Alistair Overeem. His crowning achievement, really, that K-1 World Grand Prix Championship in kickboxing, still in search of that elusive UFC title. No one expected him to win that kickboxing right. world championship, but he went out there and he beat some of the biggest names in kickboxing history. But once he was back in MMA, he has been a true and absolute savage from becoming the Dream World Champion, becoming the Strike Force Heavyweight Champion. He's done about everything you can do in the sport of mixed martial arts. Of course, he made his UFC debut famously against Brock Lesnar. A lot of the recent wins for the ring have come by knockout or TKO. We'll be chasing another highlight here tonight. Enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Bones Jones, one of the most beloved fighters in all of MMA, and yet again back on the proving ground tonight. the tape for this our main event of the evening all right now for the official introductions we set it inside the octagon to bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening <laughs> Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so the decorated combat sports career of the Ream. Alistair Overeem continues here tonight against John Jones. And I'm not sure if this crowd reaction is a great indicator, but this is a matchup that fight fans have been jonesing for for a long time, and they get it here. That, that, I mean, that was I saw, no, no, no. I, <laughs> I see what you did there, John. I see what you did there. Fans have been jonesing for John Jones versus Alistair Overeem. Boy, you, you might as well be a rapper, John. Find you on the corner of Brooklyn Rapper somewhere. But this is a great matchup between two absolute savage strikers. Overeem would seem to have the ability to stand and trade with Jones at heavyweight. But let's see how Jones uses his wrestling to try and control this matchup. I love that. You thought that was there? I love that. I just, I was just trying to see how to play off that Jones. Well, a nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume two. Jab, right hand. Body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw in combinations. Oh, beautiful kick there. Vintage Alistair Overeem. On any given Saturday night, we're looking at a guy who can strike, stand, and bang with any of the elite heavyweights in the world. Wow, actually got the takedown. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you. You can attack guillotine. 
If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, effective utilization of the grounded pound here by the ring. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Change of the position. 90 seconds to go in our opening round. Working out of the half guard here. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Ooh. Block that one. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a bon flute choke here. You need to work out his position. Oh, he's able to get out. Well, good job. It looked like he was going to tap with his left hand, but instead, he bridged off to the right and turned back into him to release some of the pressure on the bon flute choke. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go, folks. Round two, Johnny right. Bones Jones right. versus yeah. Alice Grove. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. win there by Alistair Overeem. Continues to cross-train at different places. Finished up this training camp at Team Elevation there under Elliott Marshall in Colorado. Oh, nice takedown defense. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice takedown. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. use of the jab by Jones. Back to the single. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Continuing to work out of the half guard. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Oh, Jones gets the takedown. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Great shot from the top position. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Overeem gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. The takedown is not there. Oh, he's gonna punch his head. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He's taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. 
He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed in effect. 15 seconds. All oh, right to the mark. All right, round three coming up next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down the strike that was really damaging the oh, Well, he said he was going to attack him. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast. They're quick. He's driving them into the body, into the head. He's really good with them. And now some separation. Oh, nice combination of kicks there by the ring. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Jones is going for the sub here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. Let's go. He's got to be careful here. He's got to be careful here. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Overeem. Now he's going full mount. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Overeem. Yes. Setting up for an unlock now. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. How in the world did he escape that submission? All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank. Oh, a oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. Jones is back to the side control now. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape. What a fight! So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after. <laughs> All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 35 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, John Bones Jones! All right.
right, so as usual, John Jones leaving an opponent in his wake. He gets it done tonight by TKO. He does a really good job of setting you up. John Jones gets to his position, gets his opponent hurt, and gets the TKO victory. It's what we expected early, and now we are seeing Jones as he's going.